Pete. Give me another beam and a, and a highlight back, all right? All this talk about work. You know what, Joe? There's a reason I don't work, all right? No, 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 no. I could work any time I want, all right? The thing is, I get to be my own man. I get to make decisions, all right? Any night I want. Yeah, I'll come back here tomorrow night, too, and the night after that. Fine, but it's by choice, all right? <laughs> See, Joe, when you're unemployed like me, you know, I mean, you, 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 got, you got control over your life. You can do whatever you want, you know? You can, you know, you can go to a joint like this and, uh, you know, maintenance drink away your life. <laughs> uh, warming up your liver for the next one and the next one and the next one and keep it a nice even kill until about closing time, at which point you go out and you buy yourself a grease burger and then you go home and then uh, you eat a bag of Cheetos while pulling out the extra Cheetos out of your belly button or you're watching uh, late night television until the sun rises up and then you cry yourself to sleep and uh, you, know, you wake up uh, sometimes late in the afternoon and you start wandering around a Smithsonian, you know, and you're just, like, trying to, uh, you know, assuage your feelings of, uh, of inadequacy by, uh, you know, looking at smaller animals than yourself. <laughs> and, uh, you know, and then, uh, you know, finally you, you go out and buy yourself another grease burger and come back into a bar like this. And, you know, it's, uh, that, that's one choice you got when you're unemployed. <laughs> well, yeah, the other choice is to start a blog. <laughs> you know what, Joe? I got way too much self-respect for that one. <laughs> All right? But, uh, yeah, you know what? I... It's scary as hell out there. The problem with, the problem with being chronically unemployed is uh, when, when, when the, uh, the economy keeps on going further and further into the toilet, you know, it, there's no way up for you. You know, if you ain't got a job to lose, then my friends, you know, I mean, like, yeah, I got no accrued vacation time, you know. I get no vacation whatsoever. You have any idea what that's like, Joe? <laughs> <laughs> and, and you know what? I like... It, it, Every 10 years, we go through the same damn thing, you know, with this economy, you know, we all think it's a new thing when we screwed ourselves over completely by believing in whatever, you know, I don't know, what is it, stocks this year, bonds the next year, houses, friggin' beanie babies, we always latch on to something stupid, all right, convince ourselves it's a brand new economy, and, you know, and we're just at the party, you know, we're just like a bunch of frat boys putting down Patron, you know, and just like, <laughs> and then, you know, and then finally, you know, we, we all find ourselves over that, that grand cosmic toilet bowl of, uh, you know, of, uh, of, of the economy, ralphing our guts out, fiscally speaking. Well, and we give that exact same speech. We always do, right? Joe, you know the speech. You know, say it with me. I will never, ever do that again. <laughs> and it doesn't take, Joe. Doesn't take, especially not when you're talking about the economy. No, sir. You know why I know this? You know why? Because the day after the stock market cratered, all right, you remember when Congress failed to pass the whatever to bail out that thing, and then all, every stock in the world just went, ah! You know? <laughs> remember that day? Everybody was like, oh, we're screwed. We're never going to get out of this. We'll never, ever do it again. Oh, my God. We put too much faith and trust in people who didn't know what the hell they were doing and all that sort of stuff. And then in between the news broadcast about this, I see a commercial with a goddamn infant buying stocks on a fucking Blackberry. <laughs> <laughs> Joe. And you know what? All right, Prince Hope and Dreams ain't saving us either. No, sir. No, 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 no. You know what? I mean, he can bring he can bring the Cambridge cops and the uh, the Harvard professors together, but I don't think he's gonna put Humpty Dumpty back together as much. You know? Oh, please, Joe. You really think we could power a new economy with puppy farts and moonbeams? <laughs> Come on. You gotta no 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 no. Seriously, he, Joe, look truth in the eye. All right. You ever notice that the guy doesn't really ever look directly forward? He's always speaking in this way, and then that way, and then that way, and then that way. You know, it's like robotic. <laughs> Figured it out, Joe. The man's a cyborg. <laughs> no 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 no. Hear me out. Hear me out. The fact is, he's always way too perfect, all right? Everything comes out, and even his mistakes end up being perfect, <laughs> all right? There's
There's something about him ain't human. All right? You know why he ain't come up with his birth certificate? It ain't because he wasn't born in the U.S. <laughs> it's because he wasn't born, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to know, Joe. No, give me another... Give me another beam. Give me two, all right? Just for sassing back at me. I'm, I'm, I'm fine, all right? I can operate heavy machinery. <laughs> he was made in the future, and he's come back to annihilate us, Joe. He's a Terminator. <laughs> I'm for real on this. You know? Okay, you, would, you, you can call me crazy, all right? But I'll be the one laughing, all right, when, the, when he comes on that television and tells us the real reason he took over GM. All right. He's going to be standing there at the podium. And he's going to be like, today I announce that we are retooling our entire domestic auto industry to build the Cyberdyne 3 system. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Joe? You know what? And the problem is, he's going to be telling us that he's creating a whole race of Terminators to come get us, and we're going to love him for it. <laughs> No, 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 yeah, he's going to be like, he's going to be like, now you can't tell me that an American worker can't build a cleaner, more efficient, and energy efficient machine to kill John Connors than a Chinese worker. You know, and we're going to be like, huh. You know, and, and, and he's going to say, he's going to say, just like my white grandmother hated all black people, I hate all people. <laughs> and we're going to go, yeah, yes we can. <laughs> you know? Oh, hey there, college boy, how you doing? 